In this upcoming video, we're going to show you how we took an old card table, redid it using a custom image off in Shutterstock. Stick around. take an old card table. I chose a card table because I figured everybody had a card table laying around somewhere in the garage, uh, the basement. What we're going to do is strip this thing down and go step for step from primer on the wood to the spray adhesive to utilizing the veil. In this case, it's a really cool dragon's eye that we downloaded off from Shutterstock. We will take and we will put this down on the surface with the spray adhesive, get all the wrinkles out and everything, and then we're going to do a, a saturation coat with our epoxy over it. We're going to let that cure, and then we're going to come back the following day and we're going to do our flood coats on it. And we're getting ready to do the card table now. Uh, we've disassembled it. We have taken and we've cut our veil to size, leaving probably two inches of overhang. It helps with getting it adjusted and get it centered. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the spray adhesive down and It's important that you get all the wrinkles out of it right now. Take the take the time, make sure you get everything off the of... surface. Got it on. And now we're ready for the saturation coat. Mix some more. So on this layer, all we're really trying to do um, is get the veil wet out. Nothing, nothing more than that. You're just trying to get it completely saturated. The edge is saturated, and then what I'm going to use in this is just a Bondo squeegee to help move the, the resin around, the epoxy around, and then I'm going to come back with our veil roller. This is important. And that's going to get any of the entrapped air from under the surface out. Basically what we're doing is just pulling all, and you'll see the air, you'll see air, the air bubble, you're just pulling it right off part. Try not to, you know, bring all your epoxy off with it. So now that we've got all the air rolled out of this, uh, we've got the roller taken care of, put away in the acetone. We're going to take our torch and we're just going to hit the surface. All we're doing is popping any of the big air. This is not our flood coat, and it's just a saturation coat. You 
you see it is pretty realistic uh, holds its color fantastic and this is just the saturation coat when we hit this with the first flood coat it's really going to bring out some depth. Our coat um, on our dragon eye card table we got our saturation coat done yesterday it's turning out really really nice so what we're going to do now is take three ounces per square foot i've got it all mixed up already right here um, what we're going to need for this application is an eighth inch trowel so basically the notches are eighth inch by eighth inch and that's going to basically do the math for us it's going to it's going to give us the amount of epoxy that we need per square foot uh, might need a chop brush all the chop brushes for is basically to relieve surface tension in the, the surface if you get any fish iron and your torch uh, that's basically it the, the hard work is already done on this getting the veil down getting the thing taken apart which was not really all that hard you want to get the epoxy down on the surface of the table and not let it sit in your cup too long as that mass in there will start to, to generate heat and it's going to shorten your gel time or eliminate your working time. Okay. So now that I've got the epoxy down, all I'm going to do now is just get it moved around the surface. I'm going to stay away from the edges until I got everything worked. So I'm just looking for any little spots that I may have missed. It's like I got everything. When you torch, you don't want to stay on any area too long. You don't want to be burning the epoxy. And you will burn the epoxy. detailing is pretty wicked in this I know with the reflection you're not seeing exactly what I'm seeing but it's glass This will be a really cool table when we get done.